Design has been around us since a very long time. Today we'll be talking about two influential designers who contributed and played a considerable role in shaping our understanding of the design world that we know today. Michael Wolff, born on 12th November 1933, is a British graphic designer best known for being the co-founder of Wolff Orleans, one of the world's most iconic design companies. Leaving the company in 1983, Wolff founded his own firm known as Michael Wolff & Company. He created new identities for both Audi and Volkswagen. He came up with three eyes name and played an important role in the original stages of the greening of BP. He's come up with the designs for Sky, BT, City Group, the tail fin for BA, Orange, as well as the first high-speed train in Spain. In short, Michael Wolff is an icon in the world of industrial identity, branding and design. His fascination with animals came to life in logos for Hatfield Paints, Bovis Homes and later the use of a goldfish with his post Wolf Hollins company, Addison. Using a full color illustration of a bird as a symbol for a building company was brave but it paid off and Bovis still uses the kingfisher to this day. It was this playfulness as well as the lightness that gave Michael's work such originality. In 1980, he designed the Labour Party's rose. It may have evolved over time but the rose still remains central to their identity. Michael always had a highly curious approach to his work. Imagination and originality were always the key to his process. Milton Glaser, born on 26 June 1929, is one of the most celebrated designers in the United States. His most notable designs include the I Love New York logo, a 1966 poster for Bob Dylan, and the logos for DC Comics. Milton Glaser's range of work included posters, logo types, font designs, and book covers. Up until the last days of his life in June 2020, he continued to passionately create graphics. His last project aimed at creating a collective spirit during the COVID-19 pandemic. His philosophy and ideology reflect his years of experience as a self-described child of modernism in a fruitful career. Milton Glaser was the design director of the New York magazine, loved New York City and celebrated it in multiple ways. with a magazine with posters and most visibly of all with the three letters and a red hot slogan he created in 1966 glaser designed his first poster for bob dylan's greatest hits the poster depicts the profile of dylan's face with psychedelic swirly hair with dylan written at the bottom in baby teeth one of glaser's typefaces he took this inspiration for the dylan profile from a 1957 self portrait by marcel duchamp Glaser says he also tapped into an earlier art movement known as Art Nouveau which was an influence for the colors and shapes in the picture. In 1977, Glaser created the I Love New York logo. This logo was designed to increase tourism in New York. Glaser came up with this design while sitting in the back of a taxi cab on his way to a meeting. The logo consists of the capital I and a red heart stacked on top of the letters NY in American typewriter typeface symbolizing New York. His inspiration for the logo was Robert Indiana's love design with the four letters stacked on top of each other. The image was conceptualized as a petite puzzle where the only complete word was I. The simple emotion of love was conveyed through the iconic red heart symbol and the initials NY represented the city where he spent most of his life. These three mental adjustments to understand the whole picture wouldn't have been possible if Milton Glaser didn't directly connect with the client, in this case New York City. The idea of this minimal logo was so powerful that it's still plastered across every conceivable piece of merchandise even today. Baby Teeth is one of Glaser's earliest and most successful typefaces used in his most famous poster alongside many other notable music promotions such as his poster for Mahalia Jackson at Lincoln Center. Milton Glaser's inspiration for his Baby Teeth typeface came from a hand-painted advertisement for a tailor he saw in Mexico City. He was inspired by that E drawn as only someone unfamiliar with the alphabet could have conceived. So he set about inventing a completely legible alphabet consistent with this model. 
In 1967, the Glazer stencil, a font designed to mimic and improve upon the traditional letter stenciling that had a popularity boom in the 40s and 50s, made its first appearance on a billing poster at Carnegie Hall. In 1970, Glazer designed his namesake typeface, Glazer stencil, which drew inspiration from geometric sans serif fonts such as Futura and Avanga. The hologram typeface was an idea Glazer says had been in his head for a while before he had a chance to actually make use of it. Milton Glazer is the embodiment of American graphic design during the latter half of the century. His presence and impact on the profession internationally is formidable. Immensely creative and articulate, he is a modern renaissance man, one of a rare breed of intellectual designer, illustrator who brings a depth of understanding and conceptual thinking combined with a diverse richness of visual language to his highly inventive and individualistic work.